I swear, seeing this car back in the garage gives me some weird PTSD feelings where it's just like flashbacks to all the issues that we had with this car. But what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to take care of the grungy old Brembos that are on the car. We're going to fully rebuild them and powder coat them. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll just be a today endeavor, but if it bleeds over in tomorrow, so be it. It's not the end of the world. So I, I'm like 95% sure that I have everything to be able to do this. But before we get into this whole Brembo situation with Karma, I do want to say I did get my ticket ordered for Big Northwest. So if you guys are going, feel free to come find me. Come say hi. It is on what, August 1st, it's a Sunday. I'll be in like the car show area with everyone else. Looking forward to kicking it with you guys. So come say hi if you see me. And we're bringing Karma with all of the upcoming changes for it. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. But let me show you what I got here for the Brimbos. And then I guess we'll just jump into it. Oh, we're also gonna test fit the wheels on this car today too, just to see how they look with the new Brimbos. Karma, it feels like a weird connection has been made with you getting you back in the garage and that's all right. I guess I'll give you guys an update on this too. This is getting sent to out front tomorrow when you guys are seeing this video. Um, what we're gonna do with this is close deck, half inch head studs, rehone if needed. Uh, they're also gonna help me figure out the clearances that I need for the bearings on that. So huge shout out to out front. Looking forward to getting this sent down there, built back up here so that way we can assemble that short block. Secondly, here's everything that I have for the uh, Brembo rebuild stuff. So I've got two rebuild kits here. Now when you when you go to rebuild Brembos, they don't give you these small little O-rings. These O-rings I believe have to be bought directly from Brembo, but I got them from Fast WRX. So I'll put a link down in the description for anyone looking for those. Those O-rings are important. Brembo never intended for people to split the case halves or the halves of the caliper in half. So if you're gonna be doing that, you are going to need these. Now the color that we're gonna be repowder coating these is Porsche silver. This, I think it'll look brilliant and perfect with the new wheel setup and the flares on the car, so we're gonna go with that. And then lastly, so I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but on Brembo's, the Brembo logo that you see on the calipers isn't actually a sticker that's painted on there from the factory or powder coated, I don't know what they use. Um, so these are stencils. I have a variety of sizes to be able to use on these ranging from two inch to three and a quarter. So that way, what the game plan here is, apply the base coat, the silver, mask everything off, put the stencil on there, powder coat the stencil logo black and then put a clear coat everything. So we're gonna see how well that actually works today. But before we can get into any of that, we need to take these off. So let me get this car jacked up in the air. Let me get all four wheels pulled off of this thing and then we can start playing with these Brembos and getting them disassembled. It's hot. It's so hot, I forgot. I remember a couple months ago when I was out here working on Karma in the winter time and it was cold as hell and I was like, I can't wait for it to be summertime. It's hot. Give me the cold weather back. So we've got all of our wheels off on Karma, which gives us access to the brakes. So these brakes really don't look that bad for being as old as they are. What are these 16, 17 year old brakes at this point? The gold finish on them still looks amazing. It still looks killer. All the Brembo logoing is starting to fade. Uh, so we're gonna fix that. So in order to get these off, I've shown you guys how to pull Brembos off before. There's two bolts on the backside. I believe the fronts are 17s and the rears are 14s. After I get these off, I'll confirm that for you guys. Uh, I am gonna reuse the brake pads. I am gonna reuse the rotor. There's no need for me to replace any of those. These have like 2000 miles on them on the pad and rotor setup. So not too stressed about it. So after we get all these off, I'll show you guys how to disassemble these. Um, once again, I do not advise you disassemble these unless you have everything in order to replace it. I mean, just replace the seals if you're gonna be taking them apart. So uh, two little safety tab clip guys on the backside come out, slide pins pop out, retaining clip, brake pads come out. After the brake pads are out, I'll disconnect the brake line. Uh, I'm probably gonna zip tie it up so that way it doesn't leak anywhere. I'll probably zip tie a rag around it so that way if it does leak, it gets soaked into the rag instead of onto everything else. Brake fluid's extremely corrosive. You don't want it to leak on things that you have like a nice pretty finish on. So keep that in mind when doing this. And then uh, we'll get this caliper off and get it prepped to be able to be sandblasted and repowder coated. So 
here we have our calipers. We have our two little baby ones over here, and then we got our two beefier boys over here. Now, these are pretty easy to disassemble. On the back side of the caliper, you're gonna have hardware that obviously hold the two case halves together. Don't go ripping those out quite yet because we need to be able to get the pistons out. There's multiple ways to get pistons out of Brembo's. The way that I do it is I just use an air compressor. I stick a couple rags down in here, and then I use a nozzle like this that has a rubber tip that allows me to be able to stick it in the back side of the hole back there where the brake line used to go and push air in there that's gonna pop the pistons out. Now, yes, Yes, not all of them are going to come out at first, but if we can't get any more out, we can split these and I'll show you how to get them open also. So let's start tearing into these. So I've got all the calipers disassembled at this point. I've got all the pistons out. I was using the compressed air. The rears are really easy to get the pistons out. Once you have one of these split open, you can just put your finger over, over that hole right there and just like push the, uh, the pistons right out of those. So super easy on the rears. The fronts are a little bit more annoying because you've got two on each side. You can pop one out out of each caliper and then you're gonna be fighting with the other one. I'm pretty sure they make a special tool to be able to get these out, but I ended up using a flat head. I don't advise trying to pry them out. You need to be very gentle with those. If you go to try to pry them out and you damage the ceiling area, it's just gonna leak brake fluid. So keep that in mind. Luckily, we did not damage any of the pistons. So now that I have all of this fully disassembled, before we go and start sandblasting, we're gonna, we're gonna go through here. I have three cans of brake clean. We're gonna clean these as much as we can right now. We're gonna come back over here pull off these little like dust shield cover guys right there. We're gonna mask up all the areas with the high temp tape that we don't want powder coated or sandblasted. You do not want to sandblast inside of these areas right here. I trust me, the whole caliper will be scrapped at that point because then you're changing the thickness of how big that actually is and it needs to be a very tight sealing surface to be able to retain brake fluid in there. So let's get these sprayed down with some brake fluid. Brake clean, not brake fluid. So I've got all the Brimbos ready to go at this point. I've got plugs in the bag that we're gonna be bringing with us up to the mod garage. I've got everything taped off that we don't want powder coated or sandblasted. So now that this is done, let's go swing up to the mod garage, get this done with. So we've been up at the mod garage for a little while. I've already sandblasted two of the calipers. Melanie's jumping in and sandblasting some more for me so that way I can start powder coating. So we're gonna get the base coat of the silver put onto the calipers. I've got one front and one rear done to start with. Once we have the silver on there, we're gonna do two coats of the silver. Then we're gonna get that Brembo sticker label stencil guy on there, spray it black. After we have that done, we'll do a clear coat and we'll see how they come out. So huge shout out to the lady. She's going in there and just knocking out those other ones. You're not gonna be able to see in there, but here's what I have on the counter so far. Both, oh, well, this front one, that's one caliper, sandblasted, ready to go. One rear sandblasted, ready to go. We still have to do the other front and the other rear. These back pieces take a little while to get all in between like all those grooves and whatnot. So, I mean, it is what it is, but let's start powder coating these. So it is the next day. Sandblasting took way longer than expected. I think in total I spent four hours sandblasting. It took about an hour 
took about 30 minutes per like rear caliper, the smaller ones per half. And then it probably took about an hour per bigger caliper. These ones take so long to sandblast. So, you know, it is what it is at this point. It's not the end of the world. I've gotten the color done on one front and one rear right now. I've only gotten the color done. We still have to powder coat the Brimbo logo on there and get a clear coat on there, but they look, so, they look so good. They look so much better. So here's what the color actually looks like. This is called Porsche Silver, and ooh, it looks so good. It doesn't have flake in it because I didn't want a lot of flake in it. This one has a little bit of orange peel. I think I went a little bit too heavy on that one, but it's it's all right. The clear coat should help clear that up a little bit. Um, so these ones are ready to go for the Brimbo logos. But before I do that, I do want to get the silver base coat put down on these other calipers that I have out here, just so that way I don't have to continuously clean the powder coat gun from color to color to color to color. So uh, let's get the base coat done on these ones. The way I'm going to do this is the way I powder coat everything else. Get the powder coat on there, uh, get them in the oven at 400 degrees, let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes, pull them out and uh, do another coat. We'll slap them back in. I'm doing two base coats on here just because we're working with brake fluid around these and I don't want the brake fluid to easily eat through all the powder coat on there because trust me, it will. Um, so having an, having a couple extra coats on here is definitely going to make it better. I'll probably do two coats of two or three coats of clear coat as well. I really want these to be robust so that way brake fluid just doesn't easily eat through these so let's go powder coat these guys on this rack right here pop it in the oven cook in with tanner see you guys so now that we've got the last coat of silver going on the calipers in the oven, the other two calipers, with these ones over here, I'm gonna grab some compressed air, blow out everything in there just to make sure that any sand in there um, comes out from when we sandblasted them because I'm sure there's some sand still in there even though I masked everything up and I had plugs and everything. It's just nature of the beast with sandblaster. So I'm gonna get some compressed air, blow everything out, get any potential sand out of there. And then we're gonna remask these ones up Get these stencils that I have put on there for the Brembo logos. We'll get the Brembo logo powder coated black, get them in the oven. We'll pull those out and then we'll get the clear coat on, on them. And then they should be good to take back down to the house to get reinstalled on the car. Cause I'm excited to see how they look. Probably gonna look a lot better than the gold. Hoping they look a lot better than the gold. They'll look better than the gold. So here's what I came up for with the stencil. So I got the stencil right there where I want it. I've got like masking tape, high temp tape and paper around it. So that way the powder coat only goes in one spot. I can only do these one at a time, mainly because um, with all the paper on there, I can really only fit one of these on the rack at a time. And I'd rather these come out better than worse. So we're gonna do these one at a time. So this one's ready to get powder coated black. So we're gonna do the Brembo in black. Uh, these ones just came out. They're cooling off before I straight up grab them out of there and set them down because I need to set those away from where I'm powder coating so that way no debris lands on them or anything like that because we don't want black powder landing on top of our nice fresh silver powder here. So uh, let me get these out of the way. We'll get that powder coated, get it in the oven, and then move on to the next one. So the GoPro died on me a little while ago, so I just like kept going to power through this so that way we get back down to the house and get these things back on the car. But I've got the Brembo's re-clear coated, they're powder coated, the logo came out great. I am ecstatic with these. So let me show you. Let me show you guys this goodness. Look at how good these things came out. I am super happy with these. For doing these as a DIY uh, with like $15, I th honestly, I th what was it? The powder coat was 20 bucks. The stencils were 10 bucks. The rebuild kit was $200 for these. So not bad. Like I'm more than happy with this. Looks so much better than that old gold. You can see like a tint of it in there still a little bit because I didn't want a powder coat or sandblast inside of there. So now that we've got all of these taken care of, let's swing back down to the house so we can get these things rebuilt, get them put back on the car and see how they look with the new wheels. This project has taken way longer than I expected it to, but the results, happy with it. Oh, side note, check it out. We got our crankshaft too. 
Traffic was a nightmare as expected. Took about like an hour or so whatnot. Came back to the house, ate some chicken. I'm refueled, ready to go. Found a nice surprise. Big old stack of tires showed up for the 05 STI for the wheels and the wide body, or the uh, fender flares, because some people get upset when I call it a wide body, for the flares. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna worry about these brakes. So, time to get these things reassembled with the pistons, the new seals, all that stuff. Once we get them reassembled and bolted back up, I kind of regret not powder coating the bolts, the bolt heads because these are still gold, whatever. Once we get all those nicely reassembled, we're gonna put a nice ceramic coat on them, get them reinstalled on the car, fill the car up with some brake fluid, bleed the brakes, go test it out. Well, this has taken way longer than I thought it would, but we have all new seals in here. Everything is bolted back up on these. These are now ready to go back on the car. So I really wish I would have taken the time to do the hardware because I didn't really realize that you could see the hardware from the other side. So I'll pull those off at some other point and uh, paint those black and uh, we'll get that corrected as well. But for now, just to get the brakes back on the car, I'm happy with the way they look right now. The little hardware mishap isn't gonna stop me from getting these back on. So let's get the fronts back on first. Then we'll get the rears. Uh, tip if you guys are installing these seals, uh, make sure you throw, well, it helps. You don't have to. Throw a little bit of brake fluid on the inner seals whenever you go to put them back in. Uh, just helps the piston slide back in. Make sure the pistons are clean before you put them back in. It's pretty self-explanatory when doing this. If you do have any questions, Brimbo gives you this, uh, this poster. So uh, if you have any questions, refer to the poster. But it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. So. Let's get these things back on. These things have not, I just, I wanna see how they look. I'm so curious. So let's get a front on, we'll see how it looks, and then we'll throw it back on, see how it looks, and finish it up. So I've got all the calipers on the car. They look beautiful. I am so happy that I went with the Porsche Silver on there with the actual like powder coated Brembo logo on there. Now I'm getting, I'm getting ready to bleed the system. Before I bleed the system, I'm doing a pressure check on the brake system. What this entails is just hooking up the motive power bleeder that I have over to the master cylinder and then putting pressure on it. So I'm putting 15 PSI on the system. If that holds for five minutes, we know that everything is sealed up. Our new Brembo seal kit is doing its job and we have no brake fluid leaks. If we pass the test, then we'll bleed the brakes. I'll probably go over it a couple times with a motive power bleeder, and then I'll grab Melanie and have her like do the foot stuff, the traditional brake bleeding method. I just find that's a little bit better than using like a power bleeder like this, just personal preference, but let me show you the brakes because they look so good. This project just makes me feel so beat. So right now, as you can see, we are looking great on there. We haven't dropped any in like the two minutes that it's been on there putting pressure on it. So with that still applying pressure, um, just check this out, you guys. That looks so much better than the gold ever did. Like, oh, Subaru, why did you not just do silver to begin with? And then back here on the rears, the rears also just look equally as good. I'm glad I did the single small Brembo logo like that uh, instead of having it spell out Brembo. It just looks so much better. On film, it looks more white than it does silver, but the silver really pops in person. So I still need to ceramic coat these, but I'm gonna do that after I bleed the brakes because I'm assuming that some brake fluid is going to get on the calipers. And with brake fluid getting on there, it would just eat through the ceramic coat. So we'll bleed the brakes first then ceramic coat these. God, dude, this feels like a never ending project. <laughs> I can't. If you want to genuinely torture yourself, do this because it sucks to bleed these. It really only sucks to bleed them because the reservoir went dry because the lines leaked enough fluid to where it just 
completely peed itself out. Just, it chooched itself out of, out of fluid. No more fluid in there, so it just chooched it all out. So I've been bleeding brakes for the past three hours. Three hours and I'm still not done. There's still air in those lines that I still need to get out, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I am pooped. Have you ever had those like installs or anything like that where you're like, ah, it's not gonna be that bad. It's not gonna be that bad. You go to do it and you're just like, fuck. Fuck, this sucks. But I, I mean, I'm happy with the result. I'm happy with the result. The brakes are starting to feel better. Um, it's just, I pressure tested it again just to make sure that no air was in the system. Plus I got to the point where I was like not paying attention because I was just like zoning out and I didn't have the power bleeder on the reservoir and I just opened the bleeder and I was like, well, I just let a lot more air in there. So, I mean, it is what it is, but it's coming out. I'll finish bleeding the brakes tomorrow, but I do want to show you guys the wheel setup for this and some other stuff that came in because I'm I'm getting pumped for this. I'm getting excited. It's like Karma 2.0, 3.0, 2.5. I don't know what you call it. So just to prove my seriousness with this engine, here's our new crank. Look how beautiful that thing is. Brand new nitrated crank from Subaru. These things are, they're cheap. They're like 300 bucks for a crank. Was not expecting it. The rods show up tomorrow. I forgot what rods I ordered. I actually, no, I do. They're Manly H Tough Plus rods, the 625 plus, whatever they are. So. Uh, we'll have rods crank. Uh, the builder is going to take care of the bearing selection for this and the pistons because they're going to have to machine the block up for the piston size. We're going to be closed decking it anyways. Uh, I did decide we are going to do half inch head studs on this, so you'll be able to hold a decent amount of power. Now for Karma. I wanted to show you guys the wheel setup that we're going to be doing with this. Well, first of all, let me show you the brakes again because the brakes just look phenomenal. Like I am so pumped about how they look, but for the wheel setup, Boom, look at that, look at that. You guys thought those were going on the 17 STI. I thought they were going on the 17 STI, but they fit this perfectly for flares. So we're repurposing the Anki RS05RRs for Karma. I think this, this wheel setup looks incredible with this chassis. Plus, the, this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to redo the brake silver, just because they look so much better silver compared to gold behind these wheels. So tomorrow, since I have the tires for those wheels right there, tomorrow I'm gonna go get the wheels mounted up on the tires so that way we can actually test fit these. There is a 25 millimeter spacer on here, or 20 20 millimeter spacer on here right now so the wheels aren't going to stick out that far they're going to stick out about 20 millimeters in more which is perfect for carlton like flare fitment the tires that i got for this are 265 35 18 so they'll just fit phenomenally but i am so excited with how those wheels are going to look on this car they're going to look so good but at this point i am like straight up pooped this has been two days nonstop of working on these brakes for this car and I'm still not done. So I'm gonna go edit this video. Well, I'm gonna take a shower first because I smell like a like a petting zoo for some reason. I, it's like a mixture of like sweat and brake fluid and other fun chemicals all over my body. So I'm gonna go get the petting zoo smell off of me. But with that, if you guys like the video, if this is something you guys wanna do, I'll link down below all of the part numbers um, for the stuff that I was using, the rebuild kits, the extra little O-rings, uh, the OEM crush washers, all that stuff. I'll link it all down below for you guys. So that way, if this is something that you wanna torture yourself with, feel free to join in my pain. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up because we're gonna be building an engine for this car from scratch, like from scratch, scratch. Why would you want to miss that? Plus, we're redoing Karma to Karma 2.0, and you don't want to miss out on the 6 -0. There's literally so many good things happening on the channel right now. If you are not subscribed, like, hit your boy up. Only 50% of you guys are subscribed anyway, so if you're watching this and you're not subbed, help your boy out. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!